Hello, and welcome to this daily hypnosis session to develop decision-making skills. Before we begin, it's important to note that this hypnosis session should not be listened to while operating heavy machinery or driving. Always choose a comfortable and safe space where you can focus solely on the experience. Hypnosis is a natural state of focused attention and should be treated as such. And now, on to the hypnosis. You know, sometimes life is like a river. A river that is flowing gently, and you might wonder how wonderful it is to let yourself float along that river, not in a hurry, just allowing yourself to be carried by the flow. And as you're here with me, sitting or lying comfortably, I wonder if you could notice how your breath is like the gentle waves in a river, coming in and going out. It's so easy to breathe, isn't it? You don't even have to think about it. Your body knows how to breathe all by itself. And while you're focusing on that, perhaps you can also notice the weight of your eyelids. So comfortably heavy, and how nice it would feel to just let them close whenever they want to. They might want to close now, or maybe in a little while. It's entirely up to you to decide when it feels just right. And as you're listening to the sound of my voice, you might begin to notice that your thoughts are like leaves on that river, flowing away, getting carried off by the stream of relaxation, moving deeper and deeper into the state of calmness and peacefulness. And it's okay, you can go as deep as you like, finding a wonderful sensation of tranquility that feels just right for you, just as you are. And I wonder, have you ever been in a lush forest? A forest with tall trees, the canopies forming a living roof above you, and perhaps you could hear the rustle of the leaves in the wind, or the distant sound of a creek trickling. You know, forests have a unique way of making time irrelevant. Time stretches, and what matters are the feelings, the sensations. And as you imagine yourself walking deeper into that forest, you might notice how each step makes you feel more and more grounded. You can feel your feet so firmly connected to the earth, and it's as if each step is sinking you into a deeper state of relaxation. Your mind opens up, and it's almost like the trees themselves are inviting you to let go of their superficial concerns and to sink deeper into this peaceful state. It's a wonderful feeling to let go, just like leaves falling from the trees, gently drifting down to the forest floor, layer upon layer of leaves symbolizing layers of relaxation, one deeper than the other. I wonder if you can notice that you are here but also there, deeply connected to yourself, to the earth and to this very moment. Your mind has the marvelous ability to experience many levels of consciousness at once. And in this moment, it's so easy for you to go deeper and deeper into a soothing, serene state of existence. In this incredibly peaceful state, it's interesting to think about the roads of life, isn't it? All those roads that are waiting for you to explore, much like a skilled navigator. 
Sometimes decisions come into our lives like intersections, where you can turn left or right, continue straight or even take a U-turn. Imagine coming to such an intersection right now, feeling incredibly centered and peaceful. You'll find that the act of decision making is not always about making the right or wrong choice. Sometimes it's about exploring the options and learning as you go. And sometimes it's about pausing, reflecting, and then confidently taking a step. And as you ponder the endless roads ahead, I wonder if you can let yourself feel what it's like to be confident in your choices. Because you can trust your instincts, trust your wisdom, and trust your capacity to adapt and grow. And I'm not suggesting that you suddenly have all the answers. However, you might discover that you're becoming more attuned to your internal compass. That inner wisdom that guides you. You can let your unconscious mind play with the idea that each decision you make is a stepping stone. Each choice is a brushstroke in the painting of your life. And how exciting it would be to see what you create. And as you're deeply connected with yourself. You might realize that it's perfectly fine to consult with your inner self, your past experiences, and even people you respect as you approach any decision. Perhaps you've already started to notice that each time you trust yourself, you're like a tree adding one more ring to its trunk, growing stronger, taller, and more resilient. And you might find it interesting to think about how opportunities present themselves when you least expect them. And how would it feel if you could seize these opportunities, not out of impulse, but with a sense of clarity and wisdom. The clarity that comes when you slow down your thoughts, much like you're doing now and really listen to what your inner voice is telling you. And just like a skilled craftsman who knows which tool to use for the job, you too can have a toolbox of decision-making skills. Some decisions require logic, while others might be better served by intuition. And perhaps you could start to appreciate that you have the freedom to choose your tools, adapt your approach, and build a life you desire, brick by brick, decision by decision. It could be quite liberating to know that the quality of your life is shaped by the quality of your decisions. And maybe you'll recognize that there's room for flexibility, for change, for growth, for new beginnings and for brave endings. How empowering it would be to know that you're not just a product of your decisions, but also the master of them. In the grand tapestry of your life, every decision is a thread. Some threads are colorful. Others are muted, but each contributes to the larger pattern. And how wonderful it is to know that you're the weaver of your own destiny. And if you ever find yourself at a crossroads again, remember you don't have to know the destination to enjoy the journey. And so as you continue, to be deeply connected with this moment and with yourself, let your unconscious mind absorb these understandings, integrate these learnings, and begin to act upon them in the most beneficial way for you. You have all the resources you need to make excellent decisions, 
and from this moment forward, you can choose to tap into them whenever you wish. In a moment, I'm going to come from one to five, and as I count, you'll find yourself becoming more and more alert, each number bringing you closer to your usual state of awareness. Only this time, you'll bring along with you all the new learnings and insights. One, feel your consciousness beginning to rise like a morning sun creeping over the horizon. Two, feel yourself returning. Perhaps you can notice a newfound sense of clarity and confidence, ready to take on any decision that life may bring. Three, feeling your body revitalized as if you'd been on a long, refreshing journey, and now you're almost home. Four, your eyes might start to flutter open, so full of life and so aware of the possibilities that lie before you. And five, fully awake now, feeling refreshed and empowered, ready to weave the tapestry of your life with skill and assurance. And as you go about your day, you may find that decisions come easier to you, like a natural flow of water down a river. Each choice you make feels purposeful and you trust yourself more than ever before. And isn't it wonderful to know that this newfound skill is not fleeting, but a part of you, growing stronger day by day. I hope this session has been as meaningful for you as it has been for me to guide you through it. You have all the tools you need to be an exceptional decision maker, now and always. And until next time, goodbye and good mental health.